Hi and welcome to this video which will hopefully demystify recursive functions using illustrated guides and sample code in C. Now what is a recursive function? It is a function that calls itself recursively until an exit condition is met. A recursive function is typically divided into the following parts. The first part is the base case or the terminating case, which is the condition which usually stops the recursive calls, otherwise you end up with an infinite loop. The recursive call itself, aka the recursion, and finally the body of the recursive call which does the work. Another way to think of a recursive function is to think of it as a deconstructed loop, where the check condition, increment, decrement, and body are strewn across the function instead of contained linearly like a for loop. So viewing a recursive function in this manner might be helpful as a stepping stone towards understanding how it operates. So in our example of a recursive call drawing a pyramid, this is what a recursive function looks like. Now the flow of this function is what usually trips people up. In a typical function, the flow of the compiler is from top to bottom unless if there's a for loop. And this isn't done true of recursive calls in the instance itself. So what happens on function call is that the base case condition is checked and if it's true, the execution control leaves the function. If not, the recursive call to the function itself is next. This is where most people have difficulty as when there are several steps of execution, depending on the argument value passed, it's hard to gain a mental picture even if the process is understood properly. Some common sticking points I had when I first encountered recursions were looking at the recursive call and thinking it's going off into the unknown and how the actual output is being done, or the value of h-1 is actually passed to the function and it might just simply hit the for loop within that call and return and execution passes down to the visible for loop and then exits. However, the way recursions actually work are very similar to the plot of the movie Inception where there is a dream within a dream within a dream. So let's walk through this recursive function by passing it a value of 3. On function call, if the base case isn't triggered, the flow of control passes on to the first recursive call, where the computed value spawns another instance of the function call. Here, the base case check and recursive call with the newly computed value is repeated till the base case condition is finally met. This stops the function calls and returns flow of control to the previous function, where the for loop iterates with the value it is passed and prints it out on the screen. When this is completed, the function call is popped off the stack and control is returned to the previous function and the process is repeated, each function level iterating a higher count of print statements. This is repeated till the control is finally passed on to the first function call. The result is a staggered line of hashes representing a pyramid. If you followed all that, congratulations, you've just made sense of how recursion works. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.